Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. We've been doing a lot of videos we filmed on other ships recently, and today we wanted to film one on the Battleship to update you on a lot of the projects that have been going on and a neat find we made. This video is sponsored by Established Titles. Be sure to check the link in the description below for ways that you can go to Established Titles to get your next present uh, and also to support the channel. One of the reasons we've been putting out a ton of videos recently that we filmed on other ships is because Battleship New Jersey is such a construction zone these days that we can't get it quiet enough to film on board most of the time. Now, fortunately, maintenance is at lunch today, but we've got projects going on bow to stern, top to bottom. We're going to cover a couple of those in this episode. So first off, uh, we are back here between the two uh, ramps that take helicopters up to the flight deck from the helicopter parking area around turret number three. Uh, this area is covered in a tent, so you might see that behind me. Uh, but we have finally finished redecking this area, which you can very clearly see based on what is sanded new stuff versus the silver old stuff that uh, we have replaced uh, months and months and months ago. So this area finishes off the Fantail project, about 12,000 square feet of the ship, one quarter of the total decking on an Iowa-class battleship. So we are proud to have this area completely knocked out. Now, one of the things that we found that was back here that's going to help us with another future project is uh, the capstan. Now, this capstan is here uh, specifically to help with tightening mooring lines. And that is great uh, because our mooring lines are eight or ten years old at this point, so we're looking at uh, getting a new set to replace them. They, they stretch over time, they deteriorate in UV. So um, one of the projects for the next year is to get new mooring lines. Now, that is a ton of work to swap out an old line. This is thick stuff. We're, we're a battleship, after all. Uh, and then to get the new one in place and tighten it and tie it tight so that the ship isn't swinging all over the place, uh, our gangways can only move a certain amount before they get pulled off of the tower. So we started looking at this capstan here. The forward two capstans, which would have been used for both raising anchors and uh, tightening mooring lines, there are different uh, capstans up there for each, but they're controlled from the same motor, are electrohydraulic, which means that it takes some work to get hydraulic stuff. But this guy is just electric. So we started looking at it, changed the oil out in it, and uh, found out that all you have to do to make it run is push the button here that says start. Uh, and the good news is that the button that says stop also still works. Well, can't go any further here. <laughs> this is just another one of dozens of examples we found around the ship where things that were once in service uh, still work even though they haven't been maintained uh, for my entire lifetime. Since 1990 is probably the last time any of this stuff was actively used by the Navy. Today's video is brought to you by Established Titles. Established Titles uses the ancient Scottish tradition of making landowners a laird or lady, lord or lady, uh, by simple merit of owning property in Scotland. So Established Titles allows you to buy as little as one square foot of property in Scotland to become a Scottish lord or lady. This is a prefix like Mr. or Mrs. that you can put on things like your plane tickets, your credit cards, and even your dating profiles. That one's my favorite. They send you a certificate like this one. I'm Lord Ryan Mick Szymanski now. Established Titles makes a great last-minute gift idea. Remember the holiday season is approaching. And they donate to One Trees Planted and Trees for the Future. I absolutely love this environmentalism about the company. Remember to use the discount code BATTLESHIP to get 10% off your next purchase. And the first 200 people who purchase will get a plot right next to mine in the same kingdom. Established Titles makes a great last minute gift and they're running an amazing sale right now in addition to our discount code. So go over there soon. Go to establishedtitles.com slash battleship and use the discount code BATTLESHIP 
to get your gifts now and support our channel and our museum. Unlike some museum ships we've recently featured on our channel, looking at you, Missouri and Iowa, uh, we have winter here in New Jersey, which slows down our maintenance work. So our summer of projects continues with welded repairs on the roof of the former film projection booth. This was added around 1950 uh, for projecting movies, films, onto a screen back here at uh, Turret 3 so the crew could all sit out in, on deck in nice weather and watch the movie. I continued to be used throughout the rest of the ship's career, but uh, we found that there was a water intrusion problem inside of it, and so we got up on the roof and started chipping, and uh, you know, I lose track of holes after I run out of fingers and toes, and uh, there were a lot of holes in that roof, so we had to completely re-weld a new roof onto that. Uh, another recent project, We've been working on scaffolding for the stack, I'll talk about more in a minute, but we had a crane here to get that up to the right level. While we had the crane here, we brought a piece of yellow gear on board the ship. In the 1980s, New Jersey would have had one of these back here on the flight deck to help move the ship's helicopters around, and also the ship's two boats that were back here on rolling carts. So they would be stored next to the turret. When the turret had to turn to uh, the port side, well, then the boats on the port side had to be dragged around to the starboard side. So they would have used the yellow gear for this. As we have multiple helicopters on board at different times, you could use this to pull the helicopters off of the flight deck and then put other ones on. Some modern ships have a rail system. Uh, even World War II era ships had, had rail systems for moving these things around. Uh, New Jersey was not retrofitted with that at any point in her career. So it was all done by manpower or mule power. Another area where we've been working heavily lately uh, is up around the aft smokestack. In my opinion, that was the worst looking area on the ship, and it was something that we addressed this summer. So we had to build scaffolding all around it. Uh, they are currently taking down that scaffolding. You can see that nice uh, recently painted finish up there. Uh, you may or may not be able to see any of the scaffolding that's left because they've been making great progress today. Uh, anyway, next up, we're going to move to the forward stack and hopefully knock that out before the weather turns on us this year. A major project that we're working on that isn't on this ship relates to our pier side infrastructure. These stairs uh, are concrete poured into a like, metal sh uh, sheath. Uh, this infrastructure was designed to last for about 20 years when the uh, ship first came here in 2001. Uh, meaning that we have hit that 20 year mark. So the amount of rust that comes through the concrete at this point uh, is really unsightly and we were painting it every single year and that wasn't enough so uh, we've started a project to repair both towers, the north and the south tower. Of course we have to do it one at a time so the guests still have access to the ship. Uh, this project really illustrates how bad concrete is for steel. If I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times on this channel, that uh, concrete is porous, water gets into concrete and it leaches some of the acid out of it on its way through, and then it'll sit up against the steel, uh, of which the stairs are primarily. So it is rotting that steel from the inside out, and then once it rots a hole in it, all of that running rust, that red stain that you see on rusty things, comes out no matter what the paint coatings are. And there was just nothing we could do cosmetically to make it, uh, make that go away. Uh, our, our final major project is of course redecking the ship, which is going on in all places at once. On the port side, we're about to finish. On the starboard side, we're about to get started. We're going to wrap that in uh, plastic so that we can do the work over the winter by putting some heaters in there. And on the bow, we've taken up a large area up forward on the starboard side, which includes one of the former bow-mounted gun tubs. Now, this is a unique feature to New Jersey. All of the Iowas had these, but New Jersey is the only one where they decked up to the edge of it. On the other three Iowas, they cut it all flush and then redeck the area entirely. So, uh, New Jersey can always be recognized in aerial photographs after the 40 millimeters have been removed in the 1960s and 80s because she's got these two circles up here at the bow. 
Uh, and this is one of those features that we're going to retain as we deck around it uh, so that you can still see these, even though it makes the project more complicated. As we replace the roughly 43,000 square feet that makes up the teak decking of Battleship New Jersey, uh, we're saving all of the salvageable pieces and you can buy some to support the museum at the link in the description below. So uh, if you had any questions about why we're doing this project, just look at all of this scale that's sitting on top of the deck here and look at what's happened to the wood. In the 1980s, uh, much of this was replaced with Douglas fir, and this uh, literal mulch is what happens to the Douglas fir after 30 or 40 years. So much so that we had grass growing in it. So as we are uh, deforesting Battleship New Jersey, we really appreciate that established titles is working to reforest the planet using some of the money you give them to become a Scottish Lord or Lady. So be sure to check out uh, their link in the description below. Remember, they're having a major sale right now and you get 10% off when you use the discount code BATTLESHIP. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. It allows us to do these major projects. You can support us through our sponsor established titles or through the link in the description below. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about us and the museum. Thanks for watching.